Um, and Ayuk was in and out with the left shoulder. Go ahead. Any indication that that shoulder injury is serious? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I, I know he was hurting a little bit, but he was able to play through it. So um, I think he'll be all right. Kyle, what do you take out of this one? I mean, the uh, defense had a tough time getting off the field in the, in the first half, and it really turned on the second half, the offense. You know, what, what do you what do you take out of this? Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that happened with all three phases. Um, you know, I think the what sealed it and allowed us to separate ourselves with our was the two turnovers we got. Um, one Demo, awesome job jumping that. Um, then Isaiah on the other with the tip, um, and then we didn't turn it over on O. I missed a couple uh, that we had a chance on to um, get that score going, um, so we weren't perfect in that way. But uh, I was just pumped the way we finished. Getting those turnovers was huge, and uh, especially that fourth and one with Isaiah there towards the end of the game, being able to stop him in that run um, to get the ball back to work the clock a little bit. Um, I mean, I, th I thought they were all tough ones. I, I think the, the Ayuk one was probably um, his toughest one because it, it was just his number one read, and it just sailed a little bit. Um, the one with Debo, I mean, he went all the way across the board in a, in a really tough read. And um, yeah, you'd love him to hit it, but he did miss it. And um, the one to Jennings, um, I, that one didn't bother me much. I was, we were a little surprised the ball was going there, and everyone else was covered. And he just tried to make a play. But the main thing he did today was protect the ball. Um, besides those three misses, which um, none of them were easy, but he took care of the football, didn't give them a chance to touch it. And um, when he was under duress, he uh, was smart. Toward the end of the first half, the ability to you, you save some time, even though they scored, but then to go down and tie it. That was huge. I mean, they hadn't, um, we hadn't stopped them yet. They'd been controlling it well. Um, we had that one um, miss when we got right in there on the fringe and missed the one to BA. And then I think we got sacked on the next one where we had a chance at Debo. Um, and then they controlled it and scored. And especially with them getting the ball in the third quarter, I thought it was huge. You know, we got a couple big plays at first year, hoping to get a field goal, but we got a bunch of big plays and got down there. And to be able to finish it with one second with a sneak was um, big for us going in with them starting. Um, we were so close. Um, also, they were scoring a lot of points. Um, it looked like we needed points at the time, and we also believed we could do it. Uh, yeah, I expect a little bit more pass rush, um, kind of what we saw towards the end of the game. I thought we got it going well there. Um, I also thought Stafford did a pretty good job getting rid of it. We were in some zone coverages, and he kind of picked that apart. Um, similar to what he did last week um, at Seattle. So he's had two really good games, um, and we got to tighten it up. What do you see from Nick Bosa in particular? Is he all the way back in game shape yet? Uh, I don't know. I'll see when I study the film. But I saw him make a number of plays there at the end, I thought. I thought he pressured him sometimes. Um, but I'll see when I study the tape. Did you have to manage his snaps at all with a quick, quick turn here? Coming Thursday? No, no, we didn't talk about any of that. We just. Uh, halftime, there's not a lot of, not much time because, you know, I'm doing some stuff with the offense, and, but it's something I'm always on the headsets discussing through the whole game. Um, it's usually each series, there's a couple here and there, and um, we don't need to come into the locker room to talk. Usually the locker room is such a rush, and they got to go cover so much stuff with their players that all this stuff's usually said before we get in there. I'm um, not not that specifically. I mean, there's a lot of conversation, but uh, I thought Steve did a good job mixing it up. Um, you know, especially there at the end, being aggressive. Um, I just thought we were struggling in our zones a little bit versus the quarterback. Um, I mean, I've gotten used to it with him. It's you know it was the look we wanted, which usually means you're going to get about six yards, and it was it's kind of a first and ten run basically, um, even though it's a quick pass. Um, but then Debo has a knack for getting a lot more than most people after that. Is that supposed to be a forward pass or lateral? Um, I mean, when you're under center, it's usually it's usually a forward pass. Um, depends how much he bubbles, but it, it, we should back up enough to where it counted as a pass. Did it count as a pass? It did count as a run. All right, pattern run stats. <laughs>
Oh uh, yeah, we definitely did. We, we watched the film from last week, um, and that quarterback's still just as good as he's always been, and um, so is Aaron Donald. And um, like we saw last week, they're coached very well. They got two good schemes, and um, I know they've changed some players from the past, but there's still some Hall of Famers out there who are playing at a high level. Uh, we just commit everything to him because if you don't, he wrecks everything. And I didn't realize it was like that in the stat sheet, but um, definitely didn't feel like that. You know, I thought he defeated a number of blocks today. We were just able to get rid of it before he got there and um, able to run away from him. But that must be the case with Isaiah Oliver still on this day, perhaps a little bit more mobile than what you guys kind of been used to. Yeah, I thought he was a stud today. I mean, just the, I'd always get, I got to watch the whole tape to get through all of it, but I know he made some huge plays. Um, he was, drove them on an out-of-bounds route um, when we were in quarters, which was good. The fourth and one was huge because um, that's a so it's a Tampa 2 look, which um, he's walked on the slot, and that's a far away from the B-gap, and he didn't hesitate and had a big-time tackle, and then him getting the pick. So especially with some of our DBs getting banged up throughout the game, um, those guys had to step it up because they were kind of all over the place, and uh, he did a great job at that. Sorry, what's that? Um, I mean, it's, it's high, but I feel that way kind of every year. Um, we're extremely irritated when we don't score and, um, we were today, but I've been like that for like 20 years. It's, it's always frustrating. So, um, you expect to score. Um, that's how you try to attack. That's what our players expect. And we got a bunch of guys who can make plays and that we had some bad penalties there at the end, uh, missed a couple, um, explosives, but you know, we got a long way to go. I thought we did last week too. Hopefully, we got a little bit better this week, and that'll continue throughout the year. Um, I mean, I just think it all started with Stafford. I mean, just him getting so hot there at the beginning, and especially the way they came out on that opening drive, um, kind of attacking our zones and looking pretty effortless at it. And once you do that and you got to adjust, then uh, it gets a little bit harder with the run game too. So um, he did a good job keeping us off balanced. And I thought once we timed it up a little bit in the second half, um, things started to go better. Were you surprised they kicked the field goal there at the end? Not totally because, you know, the game's almost over either way there. Um, and they could have tried for a Hail Mary or um, you never know, four seconds it should end. Um, but we felt pretty good with four seconds that for some reason they could kick a fastball and have one second in the, and run out on the onside kick. So we felt pretty good there. It was kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't from their perspective. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, what's that? Um, same thing as in the week before. I mean, most of our stuff was in zones, and um, if you don't get to that quarterback, those zones will break down, and um, he diced us up in that way. Um, I thought we timed it up and got better there in the second half. Not to take anything away from those two players, I thought they did a real good job, just like they did last week. Um, but it's my hats off to both of them and and the quarterback. Is that part of the adjustment just to play more man in the second half? Like, can you just talk about the difficulty of playing quarterback? Because seems like down the lower he's he's targeted. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't play cornerback by yourself. You need 10 guys out there to help you. You need a pass rush. You need to mix up coverages. Um, that's, I mean, when you go against some of the better quarterbacks in this league, it's kind of always like that, um, especially, you know, when they have wideouts out there. But and it always starts there with the quarterback. And I thought Demo from, you know, I thought he was one of our better players today. I mean, just the way he showed up at the end. I know they, um, we gave up a number of completions, but he was the one to me being the most aggressive there in man. He got that huge pick at the end by undercutting him, and um, and he played real physical in the run game too. Okay, one more. Can you always go into when the game you know in the back of your mind deep down to the final seconds of the game? Um, at the end of the second quarter. Well, yeah, just when you get to that situation, the time. If you run it in and you get stopped, the, you know we didn't have any timeouts, so running the ball is only an option if you know you're going to score. That's why the other plays, we tried to do them as fast as possible, and 
That's why you tell Brock, if it's not there, try to throw it away as fast as you can. Um, one was almost too high, so I was scared that they're going to run one more second off. Um, but yeah, when you get to the last play, then 